This is why you should check on your animals before you go to bed at night. It is about nine o'clock at night and I am in sweatpants, pajamas, getting ready to go to bed and I look out the window and I notice that the heat lamps are not on up the goat pen. So we have to walk out here in the middle of the night and go see why they're not running. I got power out the outlets. Let's go see what's going on. What's going on? Oh, you unplugged it. You naughty goats. What'd you guys do that for? Oh no. Welcome back to the channel guys. It's Mike with Sony Slope Homestead. And yes, uh, we had an issue right before I was going to bed. I noticed that uh, the lights weren't working up there in the goat pen. And uh, it does give off a distinctive red glow from their bedroom window. So I always make sure to check that before I go to bed. Could have been pretty rough for them. We're gonna have some really cold temperatures this weekend and end of the week. And guys, I've, I've never seen a cold snap like this before that I can remember, but this is getting ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So right now what we're doing is we're warming up the Ranger and we have gotten more snow since uh, my last video. So I hope the Ranger Danger can make it up that hill and with how cold it is, I hope nothing breaks. Uh, knock on wood. We're gonna give them a couple bells of hay to block, make a wind block because uh, this breeze, that's what's gonna really take out your goats is this breeze. Now they can stand cold temperatures up to a point, but once you start getting into the real deep negatives that we're looking to get into, if there's a slight breeze, it's gonna cut right through their cashmere coat and they're gonna go into hypothermia possibly. So it's very important to make sure your goats have shelter. They might not need heat lamps. That's just what I'm doing personally because it is extremely cold, but they definitely need to be out of the, out of the snow and out of the wind 100%. Now these chickens down here, they are very hardy chickens. You know, we got buff over tins, we got sex links, and uh, we, you know, just your basic variety of your tractor supply, just common hardy chicken for the Northwest. I would definitely say if you guys are experiencing these temperatures like we are i know it's dipping all the way down into texas my friends in texas saying they're going through a lot of cold weather i know you guys probably got some naked necks and stuff like that the fancy chickens you may want to bring them inside as much as it pains you you might want to bring them indoors so if they ain't hardy you better get them in some shelter oh yeah before we go if you like what you see today go ahead and hit that like button give us a subscribe like i always say it does a lot of good around here and it don't cost you nothing. Don't let me down, girl. We'll check to see if she's warmed up yet. Oh yeah, she's sitting about 120. She's sitting real perfect now, so we're gonna we're gonna get her going, give her a shot. Y'all ready? Try to keep up. Telling you, barely making up this thing. Oh man, it's deep over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of grass to stick this to explain. <laughs> uh. Oh man, Let's see how the water's doing. Oh, they're doing good. Sorry, Boots. Let's get some chow. You guys want some chow? 
you guys get you a little, a little something warm in your belly. The biggest thing is we gotta get those hay bales. You so, want to back them up? You want back the UTV in? No, I don't have enough traction, son. We're gonna have to do it the old Emmanuel way, the ways of our great grandfathers before us. We're gonna have to carry things. Nobody's gonna freak out, man. Freak out, man. You might want to go shut that gate. <laughs> <laughs> go get your goat back. Boom. <laughs> All right. Lock up the gate there, farmhand. <sighs> so we gotta try to do is we gotta figure out how to build a nice little wall with our hay bales. Let's see the muscles. Boom. Can you do it? All right. Oh yeah. Why you be tripping? Who be tripping? You gotta test those muscles out every once in a while, huh, son? There you go. Put it in sideways like that, and you're gonna hit tip her over. How about I'll give you? Bam! Give it a little tappy tappy. You better? Uh huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. I take my hat off too. Because I'm starting to sweat. Let's see if this works. These bells are different sizes, so these ones are at least the exact same. Sorry to do this to you, bud, but I gotta just take that one you're sitting on. Alright. Hopefully. That will be enough blocks all that wind. My big concern is I hope that they don't knock this over. They might lean against it. I know. I know they're going to lean up against it. I just don't want it to knock over to the heat lamps. If they do. Are you getting in here? I guess it won't be too bad. Make sure they got some plenty of room to squeeze through there. I think they do. Why don't you go see if we can get them in there? We'll get out of the way. Let them come run up here. They're just chowing down right now. Man, I feel like my whole face is frozen. Ooh, what you got? You gonna get him to come? <laughs> Shake that snow off. Shake it. I don't think they're buying into what you're selling there, bud. Come on, guys. You guys wanna check out your new spot? Let's check out your new spot. Come on. Doom, doom. There they go. So that's one thing we gotta let them realize that that's not blocked because they ran up to that door and they thought it was a dead end. And they might not even go in there. They might be scared of those bales of hay. They might trust you. They don't trust me. I give them all the shots and stuff. They don't like me. You guys not really too sure about that? They don't know what to think. Oh, Patches, Mama, Patches first. Is he gonna be the brave one? Patches pooping. We want to get them nice and used to it. Yep, they can walk in and out. You liking it? What you doing over there? Peekaboo, huh? See, that's what I'm afraid of, that they'll hop up on it. And they're gonna knock it down to those heat lamps. That's my biggest fear. Huh. It's not my hand shop no more. It's no, 
the rooster crows, but the hen delivers. Nope. She's uh, far from a far from a chicken coop anymore. <laughs> I mean, you see the remnants of it. Yeah, there's the old there's the old chicken coop down there. You see all boats up here and coming down. Now there's no more. Yep, man. It's amazing I don't, too. I don't, I, don't, I, don't stand up. I don't miss that one bit. It was absolutely horrible. For any new viewers, I encourage you to go check out my uh, previous videos when this was a chicken coop. It, uh, it, it served its purpose, let's just say say that. For a little bit, like a, couple, like a year or two. Yeah, but he was the one that had to do a lot of the cleaning because me, I didn't fit up here very well. So Haas here, he did all the work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now you can clean the goat pen. Right, what do you guys think? What do you guys think, you guys approve? They look like they got enough room right there. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Them doing that stuff. Ooh, 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 you get me, ooh, right in the, right in the behind. Look how patchy, how thick he is. Yeah, that's a thick boy. When he was looking, when they were like outside, and you see like his little beard coming in. Is he getting a little beard? Yeah. He sure is. He sure is getting a little beard. Boots? Uh, boots isn't, boots isn't came in yet, I don't think. I think we've done enough. You guys happy? Just a extra, a little extra level of protection for them. Now, that is north. And the guy who built this chicken coop, because I can't take credit for building this, he, uh, he faced the windows to the south and he put a solid wall in the north, knowing, kids, knowing north wind during the winter would cut right through this coop. But he wanted ventilation and he wanted sunlight and still, so he put him on the south end. So he was thinking. I think you guys are gonna be okay. You guys approve? You guys approve? Da -da -da -da. Just don't be knocking over no hay bells. I'll come back tonight and check on you. We're going back in. Yeah, they like that. Like it's warm in there. Yes, yes, sir. I know they're gonna knock over those bells. Just know it. You throw an icicle at me? No. You could have pierced me in the back of the in the back of the head or something. I'd be and laying down here on the floor, on the ground, season. I'll put snow. You'd on have it. to you'd have to carry me out of here. I'd back up the UTV. You you'd back up that UTV. Did you see? Did you not see me go up that hill on the UTV? Woo. Yeah, that's you, not me. <laughs> Hey, I'll give you five bucks if you stick your tongue to that fence, fence post there. I didn't say the gate, I said the wooden fence post. Man, okay. ki kids nowadays. Nope, bet's over with. No, you gotta shake on it. Nope, bet's over with. Bet, bet's over with. All right. All right, well. <laughs> hop in, let's see if we can get this beast back down the hill. Let's go check on those chickens. Man, my beard is freezing up just by the little breeze the UTV is provided. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Is my beard frozen? Kinda. Of. Kinda? Of. The tips of it. It feels stiff. Feels real stiff. Next stop, chicken coop. I've already made a path. What does that mean? Oh, it means this stuff's melting. Huh? You remember you threw that icicle at me? <laughs> you remember that? Hmm? Mm. Mm. Get you back, eh? Aha! See, it was a turn. <laughs> Picks it back up. There's a graveyard out there. Some of the broken eggs had to throw out. Yeah? Yeah, they're bad, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, boy. Grabbing them with your bare hands. What? What? You grabbing them with your bare hands. See, with your glove back on, it's going to be sticky. <laughs> I ain't scared. Not in the chair, in my comfortability. Comfortability, huh? I can't stand it being sticky. Go up, too. Yeah. 
So that's another thing about frozen temperatures of this extreme is you can't necessarily clean out the coop. The poop falls and it freezes. So it's a liquid. We're gonna be we're gonna be chiseling frozen poop sickles out here soon. Yeah, yeah. The ice bin. That, that buffalo chin right there. What about it? That one has, that's, that's one that's missing feathers. Yeah, a little chewed up, is it? A little. You see the back of it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's one on the side. Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, she's getting, she's getting pecked pretty good. We're gonna have to get those little aprons, maybe. Oh, yeah, they go around their body so they can't be eaten up. egg basket. Uh, it's up in the UTV. Why don't you go grab it? Oh, those brown ones are really nice. It's alright. He'll buff out. He'll buff out. Alright. Food's up there. Let's call it a day. And I'm going to order some little Superman capes. For the hint, <clears throat> for that hen, I'll get on Amazon or something. We'll find those little Superman capes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just go over their head and fit behind their wings. And it keeps that rooster from grabbing them. Grabbing them. Probably, they probably sell them by the dozen or so. So, unless you wanna, you wanna crochet some up. I'm good, that's autumn long. You like crocheting. What is it that Aunt Sarah likes to show you? She showed me it, I just never learned it. Well, maybe maybe you should learn it. Maybe you should start it. Ain't no shame in that. I learned how to sew in the Marine Corps. I learned how to sew in because sewing can actually, you can use it in different situations. Like yeah. Flip, you, know, you can show your clothes together. Yeah, crochet. But you could crochet clothes. You could crochet like, clothes though. Oh man, how about this? I got this sweet idea. You can learn both of them. And then you'd know something I don't know how to do. What do you think? And what do I, what do I know that you don't know? <laughs> oh, oh son. Oh son. Alright. Oh, is my my beard. My beard looking a little frozen. Well, like I said. I hope those goats don't knock over those hay bales and I might go take a ratchet strap real quick and ratchet strap those hay bales together so they can't get knocked off. But that means if they knocked them over, not just one would tip over, but all three of them would tip over in a shelf and that might be even more damaging. So we're just gonna leave them how it is. We'll let them go through the first night if they knocked them over in the first night, I uh, will go to uh, plan B, which will be going to a hardware store and getting a sheet of plywood and making a divider in there. But I think they're gonna be okay. Those chickens, I think they're doing good. We got two heat lamps in there. Very hardy chickens, very good. They'll be fine, not really worried about them. Just gotta make sure my son stays on top of putting feed down there. When it gets cold like that, kids seem to rush and they forget things. So it's on us as adults. To Reinsure them, check on them, and uh, drive those little tasks home so they don't take those shortcuts in the future. But I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>